welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. So I'm going to share all of my meals, snacks, drinks, everything that I consume today. I'm going to share it with you guys. So if you're not familiar with Bellway, it is an organic, all-natural, vegan, keto, paleo-friendly, gluten-free fiber supplement. I've been taking it around lunchtime, so I'll talk more about it then. But I just wanted to mention them really quickly. Another thing I want to talk about really quickly before we jump into today's video, I do breastfeed Jade, but I don't cut anything out of my diet just because nothing affects her, but this will depend on your baby if you are breastfeeding so i don't cut out caffeine i do limit my caffeine intake i typically only have one cup of coffee in the morning and then yeah i pretty much eat everything so i don't cut out like beans or broccoli like gassier foods i don't cut any of those out because nothing seems to affect her but i do try to eat on the healthier side because i am breastfeeding this little pumpkin so i am her main source of nutrition right now so just wanted to mention that before we jump into today's video but with all of that being said let's go ahead and jump into the video <laughs> this morning I'm not that hungry so I kept it very simple so I have half a blueberry bagel with regular cream cheese and then I made a little yogurt bowl so the yogurt I'm using is this Dannon light and fit Greek vanilla yogurt and then I threw in some of this whole grain oat honey and almond granola I cut up a few strawberries and then I just threw it in there and then of course I have my coffee. The creamer I'm using is just vanilla. So before I go ahead and eat my breakfast, I do wanna mention that I still take prenatal vitamins since I am breastfeeding Jade. This is just the Up and Up brand, so it's just the generic um, Target brand. So I do take this every single morning. Never did with broken hearts, cause I don't wanna wait this my time. lunch I don't know what it is about today but I don't really have an appetite even though I had a lighter breakfast I'm still not that hungry for lunch so I'm gonna probably just get something like really um, simple again Jade is napping so I'm gonna just find something like really quick I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a bowl of this salad this one is really good it's a southwest chopped salad kit so it has tortilla strips in here, it has some um, Mexican blend cheese, and then it has Greek yogurt jalapeno dressing, which sounds so good. So I'm going to make myself a bowl of this. And then the other night I made um, me and Benny some burritos, and I have some leftover um, chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and add this into my salad too, that way I get some um, protein in it. So that's going to be my lunch and then I'm also going to go ahead and make myself a drink using Bellaway. 
Bellaway is a fiber supplement like I told you guys. This one also has collagen in it so it's really good for your skin. Something that I've been really trying to take care of for myself is my skin and like overall my health. If you guys are new here, I am four months postpartum with my fourth baby and my body is just not what it used to be. I'm noticing a lot of like differences this time around. I have noticed that I have just a lot of like bloating lately and since being postpartum I've been like having um some like tummy issues my tummy like cramps a lot during the day so I don't know if it's something that I'm eating or if it's just related to like being postpartum but my body just doesn't always feel the best lately so this has been coming in handy before i go ahead and make my little drink here i wanted to give you guys some more info on bellway like i said i've been dealing with bloating and actually up to 30 percent of people deal with bloating in their lives and you can have bloating due to like a ton of different reasons one of them can actually be hormonal and i think that is why i am experiencing bloating because like i said i am four months postpartum so my body is just going through a lot right now so this can actually help with bloating it can help you stay regular as well this also contains zero sugar so it's actually flavored with real fruit so it tastes amazing this is in the flavor strawberry lemonade if we don't feel the same way then don't pretend Everything's okay Don't string me along the way you do Just let me get over you Maybe you don't wanna know But you don't see what you have in front of you Or maybe I'm not enough for you So here is my lunch for today it's just that southwest salad i threw everything together added the chicken so i have my strawberry lemonade and it is just it's so good you guys if somebody handed this to me i never would guess that this is a fiber supplement and literally just tastes like a regular strawberry lemonade drink i actually do have a discount code for you guys if you want to check out bellway for yourselves i'll leave it right here on the screen as well as down below in the description that will save you 20 percent off your first order oh, so maybe I should go. if i had known from the start this wouldn't have ended but broken hearts because i don't want to waste my lunch now and us girls are still a little bit hungry so I guess this is considered our snack for the day even though it's not healthy by any means we are actually going to make these Pillsbury sprinkled sugar cookies the girls are really excited for it and so am I we've made these before and they are so good and they're so big too like they're giant cookies so we're gonna make these and we're gonna snack on them. Not the healthiest, but I think we can have a little treat today. What do you think? Yeah? <laughs> you have your chef hat? Oh my goodness, yeah, look at Layla. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Well, when we cook, we need our apron and our pot. Okay, so these are big cookies. They get really big in the oven, so you have to make sure we don't put them too close, okay? Like how what happened last time? Yeah. Here. Maybe you don't want to know. You don't see what you have in front of you. Or maybe I'm not enough for you. The cookies are done, and this is how big they are. Even though they're giant. I'm probably gonna eat two of them. They're so, good. they're so good. What do you think, girls? Nine million thumbs up. We're good. Okay. I also forgot to mention too. Um, besides the one cup of coffee that I drink in the morning for breakfast, and then the strawberry lemonade drink that I showed you guys, 
I just have water all day long. I love water. I refill this like three, four times a day. So I get a pretty decent amount of water intake in every day. So just wanted to mention that really quickly in case you're wondering like what I drink the rest of the day. It's just my water bottle. So I've been snacking on this trail mix. This one is my favorite. I always pick some up whenever I go to Target. It has a little bit of everything. There's pineapple in here, almonds, raisins. There's coconut shavings. There's also um, yogurt covered peanuts, banana chips. So it just has like a little bit of everything. It's so, so good. So I highly recommend it. I snack on this almost every single day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner now. It's actually around lunchtime, but tonight I'm going to be doing a crock pot meal. And it takes about like four hours in the crock pot, so I want to go ahead and get it started now. That way it's done around like 5, 5.30. That's typically when we have dinner. Tonight is going to be a really easy crock pot recipe. I got this recipe off of Pinterest. I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want like exact measurements but it's going to be a brown sugar garlic chicken recipe so you literally just throw the chicken in the crock pot you mix all of your seasonings all you need is some garlic black pepper and salt you just mix it you um, season your chicken with it and then you top your chicken with brown sugar dump it all in the crock pot and then it goes in there for about like four hours depending on how thick your chicken is you're my best friend didn't care about those good on the weekends I'll be in fools drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless I just checked on the chicken and I don't know what the heck happened to it but it is not good at all I don't know what the heck happened like the recipe is pretty foolproof you literally just put the chicken in the crock pot you season it with salt pepper minced garlic and then you sprinkle the brown sugar on top I've made this recipe before and I've never had any issues I did um, cook it less this time around because the recipe calls for chicken thighs but i was out of chicken thighs i only had chicken breasts so i adjusted the time according to like the recipes and all of like um all of like the reviews and the comments on the recipe as well i made sure to redo that too because a lot of people had trouble with the cooking times so i don't know like what the heck happened to it because i didn't cook it for the full four hours on low like it said this is a real what i eat in a day for you guys because i am not the best cook i don't know like how i mess up these recipes sometimes but this is just one of those days where we're probably gonna have to eat out because it's now already about to be five and we typically eat around like 5 36 and dinner is a fail and i wasn't planning on having a backup so yeah i'm gonna have to just check back in with you guys and see what we end up eating for dinner here's what the chicken looks like by the way so here's what it looks like it just like the texture is all off like the brown sugar isn't even on it anymore so i really just I have no idea what the heck happened to it. So I ended up trying that chicken again and it honestly doesn't taste that bad as when I first tried it. I don't know if it just needed to sit in the crock pot a little bit longer, but I left it in there on warm. I tried it again and it's really not that bad. It just tastes more bland than the last time I made this recipe, but it's really not that bad. So I don't want to throw out all of this chicken. So I ended up shredding it and then I'm just going to save this in the fridge for the week and then I will use this for my lunches. I'll throw it in like salads or a wrap. I'll just do a bunch of things with it. So I'm going to just go ahead and store this in the fridge and then Benny is actually 
grabbing us some dinner so i'll show you what he grabs us so here's what benny ended up grabbing us so he got us some jack-in-the-box so i kind of got like a random order i have some egg rolls over here tacos some curly fries and then a spicy chicken sandwich the spicy chicken sandwich is probably like my favorite thing to get from jack-in-the-box so not the healthiest dinner, but I'm going to dig in and eat all of this. Before I end today's video, I just want to say thank you so much to Bellway for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to see like what my kids eat in the day, I can definitely film that for you guys. But as always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy Valentine's Day! Stray around like